All right, guys. So welcome to another put the power down video. Um, today's video is basically gonna be me tuning my car. Uh, today is kind of basically, I guess, the big day if you want to call it that, um, or at least how I'm kind of seeing it. I'm gonna load the uh, MPT 93 octane tune uh, race tune on my car today, and hopefully I don't mess anything up. Um, you know, a lot of people were like, "Don't turn on your car. Don't unplug it. Make sure it doesn't come unplugged because you want to mess up your car." And of course, Ford is not gonna help me because this is definitely something that would be my fault. So. Uh, you know, there's kind of like that fear factor going on, but I'm mostly excited right now. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start the process here, and we're going to go to program vehicle. Uh, yeah, okay. Turn the on position, so that would be... Of course... Yep, uh, stock value with limit 7,000. And MPT told me that I don't have to adjust any of this, so we're gonna go ahead and go to approve. I don't, uh, options, default options, yeah. Saving stock data. So now it's gonna be saving my stock tune and my car is kinda, I wouldn't say freaking out, but it's blinking a whole bunch. So this is definitely something new. Service, service advanced track just came on. So it's basically gonna do all this stuff to the computer and this is the part where they're like, don't open your door, uh, don't turn the car off, and all this other stuff. Cause you know, I guess in the process you could really mess up your car, so. This is also like part of me that really thinks this is cool about cars is like the whole engineering aspect. In a way, like, I also wonder how, like, people keep up. Because, I mean, like, this... Like, I, I... Like, just the minds that have to come together to get this type of stuff done, to sit here and create a tune, or just, like, even just developing and researching and developing a car is just really cool. And literally... Okay, so, device, uh... Download complete tune has been programmed safely to, uh... To vehicle <laughs> whoops uh turn key off okay okay just did that done and now the moment of truth see if everything still starts back up idling ignore that gas mileage number that's that's me basically resetting and then driving around in the mountains on Liberty's campus. Anyways, so that's the point. Uh, check engine light, should go away. So basically what I'm gonna do now is drive for about three minutes, or not three minutes, uh, about drive for about 30 to 40 miles, uh, let the car adjust, um, and then I guess finally get on it and see how this tune goes. And uh, basically while I'm on the road, I think it's been gonna be a good time to uh figure out exactly if this is gonna how this is gonna affect my gas mileage now i'll probably do a better video about this when i go back home probably over spring break or something like that uh of course i just reset so i'm getting a stupid eye number 55 and it's going up and down but um uh i'll definitely let you guys know because i'm gonna be jumping for about 30 miles uh of highway so just let the car just and for out uh, that it's on 93 and get used to the tune and stuff like that so and then I'll finally get on it all right so we're about to do my first pull with the MPT 93 base octane tune let's figure out if there's a difference Oh man, 
I can get in trouble with this, man. This, this is good stuff. Like, you guys can feel the difference. Oh, if you only do. Definitely. <laughs> oh, man. Let me, let me slow down. This is... That is not... This is this is a good tune, man. MPT, you guys woke the car up. That you weren't people weren't lying. The reviews, everything is right. This is definitely something that's special. I don't Ford. I don't know like why the car doesn't come like this from the factory. This is good stuff. Oh man. Now I'm gonna do a uh, basically another pull in first gear here because the first one I did was actually kind of going uphill. So let's figure it out here and get it straight and Woo! Oh man. Yeah, I, I usually don't spend that much going in a second. That was this is some good stuff. Like, and I, I'm not like overreacting and there's a spider on my windshield. Random moment. Anyways, oh man, this car is different. Oh man, this is fun. Can't wait to keep adding stuff on the car and just making it better. Now, this tune that I have with uh, MPT, oh, that is addictive, man. This tune that I have, basically, it's putting me around 295 horsepower to the wheel according to their uh, dyno. Now, I know different dynos may vary, but I feel like that number would be between 290 and 300, depending on what type of dyno I get on. And I feel like that is right. Um, I I feel like I'm around 300 wheel horsepower, honestly. I know I'm knocking definitely on the door of it. Uh, if I get a throttle biter or something. Oh, man. That, that that just feels good. Let me let me put it in a higher gear so I can talk. Uh, man. Um, by the way, or anyways, like I was saying, um, this is good stuff, man. Uh, anyways, basically... If I get my throttle body or just basically some shorty headers, I'll be around 300, at least past 300 wheel horsepower, which is my goal for the car. It's at least naturally aspirated. Uh, it wasn't a huge goal. I knew it was very possible, especially with this engine. Like I said, I've seen people mod this car before. So it's not like I was asking for anything ridiculous, but uh, man, I am, this is, I am happy with MPT. Uh, like I said, I feel like I would have been happy with Bama too, but a lot of people were just saying MPT is just a better one to go with. and. Oh man, I cannot be happier. Those cars went that way, so I'm gonna go this way and do another first gear pull downhill. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. oh man, let me slow down. I don't know this road that well. Oh man, I can tear this thing up all day. Like, I'm literally hitting speeds that I would not hit before. Like, it's at least as fast as... It's really that good of a tune, man. And, like, ah, uh, The car is a different vehicle now. Like, I can't express how much I feel the difference. Like, I really do feel this. I gotta do this 0 to 60 time. I, uh... I honestly don't feel comfortable enough doing it one here in... Uh, Lynchburg just because I don't uh, some of these roads are kind of downhill and I want to do it on a flat surface so that'll definitely be something I do for break but uh, like I said the fastest time I've ever been able to do with um, my stock tune uh, with the air raid basically uh, the current mods that I have in the car was a 5.9 and I feel like I could probably whip up something faster with this Woo! third third gear feels a lot stronger third gear honestly feels like second a little to me and the punch is really there between three and four now i mean that's where the, most of the torque is with your stock tune but now i can definitely really feel it all right guys so while i'm sitting here i'm basically gonna end the video um if you're thinking about going mbt tuning definitely do it um i'll keep you guys updated as far as how the car is acting and everything, uh, MBG, uh, all that good stuff, because I would like my gas miles to stay the same, but obviously driving like this is not going to, because this is just a lot of fun. So, um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, all that good stuff.
And uh, hold on. Let me get my last pull. Ooh, traction control light was on. And <laughs> all right, yeah. I'll end the video on that note. Um, subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and I'm gonna go park the car before I get in trouble. Out. Oh.